Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. It is the afternoon. I almost said good morning, but it is the afternoon and I have been busy today. I went to Pilates this morning. I did some grocery shopping. I am actually slow cooking a chuck roast slash pot roast, which I've never made before. That's just not something I ever had as a kid. And I just, I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen a really delicious, attractive looking chuck roast cut at the butcher shop, but I went to Whole Foods today and wow, did it look amazing in the case there. And they didn't have any grass-fed ribeyes, which is usually what I get. So I got a grass-fed chuck roast. Can't really see it because of all the condensation, but it's in there. So we're slow cooking it on high for six hours. We've got about four and a half hours left. So that's gonna be our dinner. And then um, I also made a quick trip to Petco to get some of that new food, that Just Food for Dogs for Miss Butters because it seems to be working. She seems to like it. She just looks kind of skinny and I am giving her their recommended like serving size, but I think I have to up it a little bit because yeah, she's looking like a little bit too skinny. She's not acting ravenous or anything. She's not like, you know, constantly foraging for food, but um, yeah, I think I'm gonna feed her a little bit more, but we got her some new toys, which we'll whip out in a little bit. It is gorgeous here today. It, well, it's very warm, which is not my favorite thing, but it is like just, you know, sunny. There's not a lot of wind, just like kind of like a breeze every now and again blue skies, it is very, very beautiful out. So we got her this Kong, oh, I'm not gonna squeeze it, but it's a squeezy, sorry, she's right there. Um, it's a Kong football, so my husband picked this out for her. And then I picked out, because we've never tried like a Frisbee style toy with her, and I'm like, she just loves fetching, and she loves to like try and like catch the ball when it comes at her. Uh, so I thought, I don't know, is she a Frisbee dog? Maybe, so we got this little one. It's got like a rubber edge, which will be great if she just wants to chew it. And then it's like fat, like a solid fabric. So anyway, whoa, we'll try those with her later. And then I got a whole bunch of PR packages. So I thought I would open some up with you. I got a huge box from Bobby Brown and Florocracy. Is that what this is called? Is that how you pronounce it? Florocracy, I don't know. I don't know what's in here, but this is how big the box is. Gigantic. Okay, this first box is from Natasha Denona. What? I think this is the pastel palette. And I was not interested in this. I don't wear pastel eyeshadows too much, but I just started watching Euphoria. And now I'm like, should I do a pastel eyeshadow look? <laughs> Let's see if this is it. I don't, I'm not even, I'm not even sure. Hold on. Yes. Limited edition pastel eyeshadow palette. Wow. Wow. Look at that, I like that eyeshadow like draping cheek eye situation. So here it is. This is one of the midi size, right? I think, yeah, $65. Ooh, let's take a look. I love how they ship her palettes like in the actual like original shipping box with this corrugated cushioner. Ooh, so pretty. Ooh, ooh, I love the way this looks. Oh my gosh, this so speaks to like 10 year old Michelle that collected Hello Kitty stickers and little twin stars. Oh my God, these are really, really pretty. I love all the different colors. I love this like acid citrine color and then these like really light kind of like lilac -y purples. These are more like pink. This mint green, this yellow, ooh. I need to swatch mint frost. Let's take a look at that one. Ooh, so sparkly. Ooh, what else? Duet. Ooh, that's pretty, like a really cool toned lilac-y purple. It's like a lavender, I guess. And then let's swatch bubble. Oh. Someone's at the door, hang on. Then, okay, wait, what have I done? I've done the mint, the purpley duet color. Let's do this zest color. This actually reminds me of, oh wow, that's soft. Am I remembering correctly in that trio chrome palette? I feel like there was a shade like this. Ooh, 
the pigmentation is there. Wow. So beautiful. Well, I will try and use this in a trying new makeup video. It's just so out of my comfort zone, but I think we need to give it a shot. Really ring in the spring with this palette. Thank you so much, Natasha Denona. That is really beautiful. Thank you. And then I don't know who this is from. Ooh, wow, Charlotte Tilbury sent over the Collagen Super Fusion Facial Oil. I have been really curious about this. She really has like the craziest numbers on her packaging. Skin looks 337% more radiant, smooth, and even. Wow, I don't even know how they measure that. Anyway, let's see. So, got the facial oil here. This is what it looks like. It's got a little pet dropper situation. Ooh, a jar of the magic cream. Thank you so much, Charlotte Tilbury. I cannot wait to try this new superfu collagen superfusion facial oil. And then I got something from K Skin. I have never heard of this brand. Let's see what uh, what's in here. Oh, K Skin. Oh, it's by Winnie Harlow. I love her. She's so beautiful. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous model. Um, I don't, I don't know what's in here, but there's like stuff, there's like stuff all over this pamphlet. Step one, remove the sand filled container from the shipper box and place it upright on a table or stable surface with the window facing you. Okay. Remove the sand filled container. So here is the sand filled container. And it says, start filming. You may need someone else to hold the phone. Find the orange tab on the lower right side of the box. Pull it until it stops and gently shake to trigger the one-time reveal. All right, let me, let me set you guys up. Hold on one second. Okay, let me, let me read the instructions just one more time so I don't mess this up. <laughs> uh, find the orange tab on the lower right side of the box. That's this guy. Pull it until it stops and gently shake to trigger the one-time reveal. All right, camera's recording, okay. Oh my God, I'm getting sand everywhere. I don't know if I've pulled this enough. Um, pull it till it stops gently shake to trigger the one-time reveal. I think all the sand is supposed to go down. Did I pull it enough? I think so. I don't know if anything is happening. This is the most physical PR package I've ever gotten. Hey, I wonder if I can stop shaking because now I'm getting sand really like everywhere. And it looks like there's a little like zip open situation here. Maybe I'll do this over the sink. Hang on one second. Okay, so this is what was in the box. We have SPF 55 mineral, which is very exciting. And then we've got um, lip balm with SPF 30 which is great. And then uh, a face lotion, SPF 45. Oh, how cool. Is this mineral or? Oh no, this one has, this is chemical. So chemical, mineral, and then the lip is chemical as well. How awesome. Thank you so much, Winnie Harlow. This is incredible. Thank you. Okay, and now for this giant, um, Bobby Brown box. I'm so curious, what is it? Wow, okay. There's like even more going on here. Hold on, let me see if I can turn you guys around. And yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, it says, oh boy. Go all in on your best skin, it's your time to bloom. Wow. All right, we're so excited to reintroduce you to our skin enhancing heroes as we shine a light on individual beauty, the power of florals and positive intention. 
To celebrate, we've partnered with Florocracy, a female-founded floral delivery service that empowers you to design your own personalized bouquets. Oh, neat. Okay, so get back there. Okay, <laughs> we've got ah, we've got the vitamin rich face base. As you guys know, is one of my favorite primers. We've got the skin longwear weightless foundation, which, as you guys know, one of my favorite longwear foundations, and their full coverage brush. Fantastic foundation brush. Oh wow! Thank you so much, Bobby Brown. So that's this top layer, I'm guessing. Let me take that out. Let me take this whole thing out. And, oh, wow. Did you guys see? There's this, maybe you can see it this way. Beautiful um, floral arrangement. I think it's dried, thankfully, because I didn't pick up my packages for a couple days. All right, let's see what this says. I think this is just, ah, this is just flower food? Flower care formula. Oh, I thought these were dried, maybe not. Uh-oh, okay. And, oh, they sent a little face. This is so cute. Lift to access your flowers. Oh, I just have to fluff these up a little bit here. See, I don't even know what these are. These are so cool. Here's a close-up of them. I think this is like, yeah, this is like a paper flower. How cool. And then these are dried for sure. This one is a paper flower and then these are dried. Oh, it's like a beautiful like mixture. How neat. Thank you so much, Florocracy. This is really cool and this beautiful face. It's so sweet. Is it too big for you, Butters? Oh. Good girl. Okay. okay. Well, the football lasted about 15 minutes. I mean, this is a Kong. A Kong toy, which is supposed to be kind of indestructible. Oh well, another one bites the dust. I kind of wanted to start, I don't know, like a spring turnover in the house. Not like I have that much to do because I don't have that much going on in the house. But I do still have a lot of my holiday candles out, like I've been burning the Nest holiday candle. I want to pull out my more springy candles. I also want to take a look at my perfume collection and kind of like reacquaint myself with my lighter fragrances. I did a little bit of that the other day when I pulled out my Chanel Deauville. Um, scent, uh, which I really, it's so light and bright and I love that for the spring summer. So I was kind of looking at them then, but it was then that I realized I'm like, I need to reacquaint myself with this side of my perfume collection because I have them slip between like light, bright and kind of like the deeper gourmand amber kind of scents. So I want to do that. I also want to, I don't know, I need to change the wreath out on my front door because I still have my Christmas one, which is kind of like a winter one, and I want to get something a little brighter and more fun, so maybe we'll go to like at home or home goods or Target or something and see what they have. And I want to switch around uh, one of my kitchen drawers, which will actually domino into me switching around a whole bunch of kitchen drawers. But I originally had my um, utensil drawer is this one over here at the end. And when we were sitting here to eat before we got our kitchen table, um, this was perfect, right? We would just, we bring our food around and then we'd come sit down and we'd grab the utensils there. But now that we have our kitchen table, um, we usually are prepping food, you know, down here and then we bring it around this way. So I'm gonna move our utensils to this larger drawer, which right now has all of this kind of stuff. And I think what I'm going to do is just try and move everything down here because I have some, um, you know, Pyrex and Tupperware, that sort of thing in here, which I want to keep over here because a refrigerator is right over here. And that's, you know, that makes sense to me. Um, but I think these two drawers can be combined because I just have some towels there or drying mats and then just like really random stuff, which I feel like maybe I can move into the pantry or something. Today it is up to 80 degrees here in Vegas. So 
spring is here. Spring is here for sure. And it definitely stuck up on me. It always sneaks up on me every year, especially here because it happens a little bit earlier than it does in New York, obviously. Um, but strangely enough, and I mean, this is like so strange. I just, I don't even know like what to say, but I always, always have seasonal allergies. When I moved here, I had seasonal allergies. W living in New York, I had seasonal allergies. Growing up in New Jersey, I had seasonal allergies. I mean, ever since I can remember, like elementary school, always sneezing, itchy eyes, watery eyes, scratchy throat. Re the worst part was the like, uh, that like spring fever, like headache, fuzzy head, always kind of sleepy feeling. Here, because spring is so much earlier and because, you know, there's so much landscaping here and it's like mind numbing. I remember the past few years, I would be like knocked out like midday for a good month and starting like early, like in February, I would just be like knocked out cold. I haven't had, I mean, I'm knocking on wood really hard because I cannot stand having hay fever, but I haven't had any problems yet. And you know, it's mid-March and no problem. It's just very strange because like I said, I've had it every single year, without a doubt, without fail, every single year I have hay fever. And this year I just don't. I'm like, is it because I'm just slowly dying inside? <laughs> That's what I felt like when all of a sudden my eczema wasn't as bad and my dermatologist was like, oh, it's because you're getting older or whatever. And I'm like, oh, it's because I'm like just slowly dying inside. I don't know. Has that happened to any of you? Have any of you like kind of grown out of hay fever? I, I just think it's very weird. Very, very weird because it's just been such a consistent <laughs> part of my life. But anyway, moving on. Um, it is spring. So that's kind of the mood I'm in. And yeah. I'm gonna clean all this up and I'll be back in a little bit. They delivered some packages and I cannot remember what it is that I ordered. Let's see. Ah, I got, wow, this is so exciting. I got a re-up on hardwood floor cleaner. I got two little spritzes. We used up a lot, right Butters? We used up a lot last month when she wasn't feeling well. And oh, yes. So I ordered, this is very appropriate for this video if we're doing like a spring switch up situation. Um, I have a robe that I've been wearing and it, it's like a, I don't know, I don't, like a flatter uh, woven piece on the outside and on, on the inside, it's like terry cloth. And so it ends up being really thick, but I put it on uh, the other day where it wasn't even 80 degrees out and I was like, feeling kind of warm in this. So I decided just to go on Amazon and get something a little in between because I have that robe and then I have like those silky ones and I feel like I need something in between. So I got this from Amazon. It was really inexpensive. And this is an Amazon Essentials. You can see that there. I got a size large. I'll link it down below if you're interested, but it's just like a waffle knit robe and I got it in the sh in the shade. <laughs> in the color smoky gray. If I vlog tomorrow morning, you'll probably see me in it. Oh nice, yeah, this is like the perfect weight. It's almost like a, like a t-shirt weight. And I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see the waffle weave. Oh, that's nice, and this color is nice. It's like a warm kind of gray. And of course it does come with the tie belt. Ooh, does it have pockets? It has pockets, awesome, it has all the things a robe should have. It even has like the little hanging thingy here. I don't even know what you call this, the like hook 
that I love. Awesome. Well, that came fast. I feel like I just ordered, Amazon is like nuts. I, I really feel like I just ordered it. I, I don't know if this will work, but we'll see. But I got like a necklace organizer because I have a lot of chains at this point and I just like lay them all out on my countertop. They obviously don't stay organized for very long. And I was, I don't know, just sometimes like the obvious thing escapes me. And I was looking at the other day and I was like, why don't I just get a necklace organizer? What am I waiting for? Okay, so it's, it's got two doors and then it's got the like turntable style hanging things. Wow, that was so eloquent. Hang on, let me just show you. Okay, so it's got two little, oh, it looks like a little dog bone. So cute. And so I can open it up. And then it's got these guys that you can just hang your chains off of. Oh, I think this will work out. I was actually more hoping that the whole thing was stationary and these were just doors, but it's like the whole thing opens. I guess that's fine too. This is okay. This is just a temporary solution because I do want to put, um, like in my finishing room, I do want to get like jewelry organizers in there. And yeah, so this is, this is fine for now. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> I think I have, I'm like finding sand everywhere from that box. Anyway. Do I have some in my hair? Probably. Um, I'm in my butler's pantry where I have my candles. So that's the next thing I want to swap out. I've been burning my Nest Holiday candle. Uh, that's almost done. So I just want to find a replacement for that. And then I have a bunch of like wood smoke uh, kind of candles by my fireplace. And while that seems appropriate all year round, I think I want to kind of swap those out for something a little bit more springy. So let's take a look at what we have in my cabinet here. <laughs> I have a lot of candles. <laughs> this one is a little bit too deep. I'll have to pull that out maybe for like a, an evening something. I have these from last spring that I should probably pull out and just finish up. So this is the Citronelle from Diptyque. And then this is the Paris in Fleur. This is actually from probably a couple. Yeah, a couple of uh, springs ago. So I should definitely pull those out. Um, so that is one for my kitchen table, and then I like to keep one in my TV room area, so that's two. And then I would like to keep one um, on my kitchen counter. I have the big nest birch pine, and that is very kind of holiday winter as well. So maybe that should be swapped out for, maybe I should pull this out because this is a big one too. My lime basil mandarin, I had this burning for a lot of um, last summer, but I put it away again because it's such a spring summer kind of scent. So I'll use that for the kitchen counter. And then let's see, what else do I have here? Oh, I have these new diptyque ones. I've got lychee. And I've got chamomile. Hmm. I've got a Baccarat 540 here. Um, this is deep. I love this Fornicetti one. Maybe I'll pull this one out and I'll save the lychee for more summer. All right, so those are the five candles I'm gonna to use to kind of swap out. So let me go around and kind of grab the candles I wanna collect. So I've got my giant nest birch pine candle. This is the one that's like the size of a wastebasket. It's just gigantic. So this will keep nicely until next season, or if I feel like pulling it out again. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna put it away. Then I'm gonna collect the ones by the fireplace. These are almost done, but yeah, this faux de bois diptyque is almost killed. Okay, maybe I'll leave this out here and just burn it today. That should pretty much finish it. But I have this flocon one from diptyque. This was 
part of their like holiday set. I'm gonna save that for next year. And then I have this DS and Durga portable fireplace, which I feel like I've burnt quite a bit, but it hasn't gotten very far. So I'm gonna put these away as well. Like I said, I've been burning this nest candle on my kitchen table and it's just about done. So I think I'm gonna leave it there and I'll bring out a new one. Okay, so what do we want for the kitchen table? Maybe the chamomile? I think this is very, very floral. It's, it's pretty strong, so I don't know if that's appropriate, like, at, you know, at an eating table. Um, but I think the chamomile, oh yeah, it's just really kind of warm and fresh. It's kind of like a, like a rounded, kind of huggy kind of scent. Ooh, this is great. So I'm gonna put this by this nest candle. So when that burns out, I'll go for the chamomile. And then I'm going to put the lime basil mandarin on the kitchen counter. It's so funny how this is a big candle, but it looks so small next to that nest candle that I had here. I know Jo Malone makes like even bigger ones, like the size of that nest candle. Maybe I should get one of those. I think I'm gonna put the citronelle in the TV room, because that's by the sliding door, which is like outdoor, which is kind of like where you use citronella. Um, so I'm gonna put this on the coffee table. So I'm just gonna plop that right there. And then I'm gonna bring the Fornicetti. Well, no, actually, I'm gonna bring this um, Paris and Fleur over to the fireplace because this is such a like strong, bold scent. This is such a big room. It'll fill it up easily. So I'll put it next to the photo ball. <laughs> so as soon as that's done, I'll start burning that one. And then I have my Fornicetti candle, which I was gonna put here on the entryway table, but at the moment, Apollo has been living here. And actually the Fornicetti candle may be very complimentary to this. Let's see, let's put it right in front and see how that looks. Okay, well, it looks really teeny tiny in front of him, but I think it's true. <laughs> strangely works. I don't know if this is where I'm going to keep Apollo, but we've kept him here for now. Uh, yeah, he seems at home right there. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to burn my last holiday candle here and move this before I set the house on fire. Um, and hopefully that'll be done today. It should be. It's pretty much down to the bottom. Well, that was fast. <laughs> so this didn't last more than a couple minutes, but uh, it's the wick is burned down, but there's a lot of wax left. I'm definitely gonna have to freeze this. I'm breaking up. What's wrong, Butters? We just went for a walk, baby. I know, you wanna go outside? Her poop, by the way, is fantastic. <laughs> Any other pet owner would truly understand what I'm talking about. When it, when it wasn't good, it really wasn't good, but it's been so good. Your poop has been so good, baby. Okay, someone's really dying to go outside again. And then we were just outside. Hmm? Do you want to play with your new frisbee since you already killed your football? You crazy, crazy barbarian. Let's try the new frisbee. Mommy's not very good at throwing though, but we'll try. I think she's gonna tear this thing apart too. Why don't you, why don't you bring it back to mommy? Yes! No? My child is a wild animal. Look at her. It's just a little frisbee. You don't have to hurt it. Give it back to mommy, okay? <laughs> Why is my dog so crazy? <laughs> Why do you have to tear it apart? This is why we can only give her toys like this, like a rock solid, hard piece of rubber. Oh my God. Let's go outside and try throwing it again and playing fetch like a normal human-dog interaction. Shall we try that? Why? Why the aggression, Butters? Why the aggression? Now, all those stories I've told you about her being an alpha and she turns into Cujo when she sees other small dogs and how she has to be on the big dog side at school and how she humped the beds 
into complete ruin at school and they had to take all the beds away. Do you see it now? I know you guys were wondering if I was lying before because she's such a sweet little baby, but can you see it now? Okay, now that I've <laughs> worked up a sweat, <laughs> throwing that damn little frisbee around, um, we're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna put some necklaces away into that new little organizer that I got. I'm really excited. Like I said, I've just been <laughs> laying them out and it, it's not good. It has not been, it has not been pretty. They're kind of all over. I have some on my nightstand. I have some in the bathroom. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. And hopefully this will help me be less of a mess. Okay, I think this is like the least shadowy I can get it. Sorry. I'm up in my bedroom. I am actually standing right in front of my TV. This is the counter that's in front of the TV. And this is where I've been just sort of hanging all of my chains. But I'm going to go ahead and start putting them in here. I'm so excited. Another curb chain that I want to hang up here. Hang on one second. Okay, I found it. I'm gonna put it here. Oh, actually, I'm gonna put it right here. This is really heavy. All right, so what I did was I put all of my solid gold chains over here. I have some from my own collection, and then these are ones, solid gold ones that I got from Stephanie Windsor. This was actually a gift. So pretty with my initials and then this starburst, these diamonds, isn't that pretty? So delicate. Um, and then this Cuban uh, link chain that I got from Stephanie Windsor as well. And then these are my costume, costume necklaces. These are the ones that are probably 14 karat gold, like plated or I don't know. They have all the filled, they have all these different terms now. Um, but these are all my costume ones. I'm sure I have others, but these are the ones that I reach for the most. And it's so nice seeing them all hung up like this. Mm. I really should have done this a long time ago. Well, I just came down to Miss Butters ruining her new Frisbee. Great. The pot roast is ready. I took some out. It is delicious. It tastes like short rib. And all that is, is beef bone broth, salt and pepper, and then some garlic. And it's so, so good. Ah, oh, delicious. I'm so happy with this. Delicious. All right, guys, I'm going to eat this. I'm probably going to watch The Gilded Age on HBO, and then I'm going to hit the sack. I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. How are you guys doing? Just got out of the shower and yesterday I burned my forehead <laughs> with a curling iron. I just wanted to kind of tame my like little baby hairs here and I just got like way too close. Can you guys see that? It doesn't really hurt or anything. It hurt more yesterday, but I woke up and I was like, oh great. <laughs> I went to, this towel is falling out. I went to an orange theory class this morning and woo. Woo woo woo. It was um, very cardio heavy, very cardio heavy. No, actually that's a lie. So most classes, I've, I've said this before, it's like half treadmill and then the other half of the class is split between the rower and the floor. Generally, they change it up sometimes, but that's generally how it goes. So today it was half treadmill, which was endurance. So there were like long stretches instead of like sprints or whatever, long stretches. So that was fine, but before that, there really actually wasn't that much rowing. We just were on the floor a lot. The floor being like weights and hit stuff. And so we were just doing like hit, it was like a hit mentality. It wasn't like that much like jumping around or whatever, but it was like a don't stop, just like kind of keep moving thing. And wow, I was just really tired by the time I got to the treadmill, because I do that at the end of class. I was like, wow, I'm tired already. And then yeah, and the treadmill. So anyway, I um, had a nice workout this morning. I feel like I have finally stopped sweating. <laughs> that always seems to be an issue for me. Like 
I just sweating for so long afterwards. And this has always been the case, always, ever since I was little. I just, once I get hot, I have a really hard time cooling down. But I actually feel okay today. And it's warm. It is definitely, definitely warm here today. It's supposed to get up to around 80 Fahrenheit. 80 Fahrenheit, and that's hot. For me, that's really, really hot. Nothing for Vegas, but um, I am already feeling uncomfortable. Already wanting to go back to New York. <laughs> but I've got a lot of work to do today, so I don't know actually how much I'm gonna vlog, but I do, I don't know, maybe when I take a break or something, I do wanna run out and see if I can get a wreath for the door. I really, I don't know, spring has really sprung, and so I wanna, you know, get a pretty wreath on the door for, so I don't know why I have that in my head, but I wanna do that, and I think that would be a nice kind of break, a <laughs> break in the day. And I did wanna show you guys, this is that new robe that I got from Amazon. It's got two pockets. I'm not gonna like scan all the way down because I don't have a bra on and it just, <laughs> I feel very like exposed. Um, I don't have a bra on, but it's, it's like a typical robe, but I just love the material because it's, uh, like I was saying, it's thinner than the one that I have, but it's thicker than those like silky ones. So I just think it's a really nice kind of everyday robe and it hits me right below my calf. I'm 5'5". Five five hits me right below my calf. I got a size large. I, yeah, I feel like this is a good size. Like if I ever wanted to throw this over some clothing, it would fit still, but the sleeves are a little bit long. I have very short arms and it is, um, yeah, like right below my calf length. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. And I like this color. I like this kind of like warm gray color. It's like an elephant gray, but I'm just doing some skincare. I've been using the Dr. Do Dr. Dr. Barbara Sturm. <laughs> Wow, where did that come from? Dr. Barbara Sturm's Hyaluronic Serum. And full disclosure, they sent this to me, and so I've been using it since before I left for New York, and then I did bring it to New York with me. I really, really like this. So I use um, a toner, I use my Sicily lotion, and then I spread this all over. So many of you have been asking me about my skincare routine. It's just, I'm always like, testing stuff out, but so many of you have been asking me about it. So I just wanted to mention that and then just let you know that they did send this to me and it's really, really nice. Now, because it is a hyaluronic serum and I live in a very dry climate, I have to put something inclusive on top. So I've been going in with the True Botanicals Pure Radiance Oil. This is, you know, I think any oil that you have would be great over a hyaluronic serum if you're in a very dry environment because hyaluronic acid kind of pulls moisture and when there's no moisture in the air, it's gonna pull it out of your skin, which is the exact opposite effect that you want. So you wanna make sure it's like, that you've got something over it and that's not, um, you know, it's not like pulling from nothing basically. So at least that's, that's what I've read, that's what I've been told. So you wanna put something inclusive on top an oil is really great. And then of course I go in with a moisturizer as well, but like shea butter is an inclusive, um, yeah, any like a moisturizer, anything like that um, is really gonna just like kind of seal it in. And so this combo has been really, really great. Really, really great for me. So um, I'll do that. And then depending on how I feel, some days I feel a little bit drier than others, I'll throw on a moisturizer like the Augustinus Butter Cream, not the rich cream, I kind of reserve that for the evenings, but the regular cream, or I'll go in with, oh my God, I used it up, but I was using the La Mer Soft Moisturizing Lotion. I'll also go in with the La Mer Soft um, Moisturizing Soft Cream, um, or if I'm not feeling like that dry, um, my skin is feeling okay, I'll just go in with SPF, like my Revive. Soleil Superior SPF 50. So long as the SPF I'm using is kind of moisturizing, which this is. This is like an incredibly smooth, silky, um, like moisturizer with SPF. It's just really, really great. Um, so yeah, it just kind of depends, but I let like the oil kind of like settle down, kind of take an assessment, <laughs> see how I'm feeling. Cause I really don't like to over moisturize even though I have dry skin, but I really hate feeling greasy or like stuff is on my face or I've got to wait before I put makeup on. I really don't like that. So 
um, yeah, I just kind of let this settle in and then see how I feel about my skin. But anyway, that's just like a quick little rundown of my um, most recent daytime <laughs> skincare routine. Okay, I'm going to get ready, do some work, and I'll be back hopefully to take you wreath shopping. <laughs> okay, it is 2.21 in the afternoon. I just filmed my video for tomorrow, which is the unboxing of this bag. You will have seen it already. But my new Chanel Jumbo, which I am so in love with. Um, God, I got something to my editor. I handed a few things into my manager. It's been a really, really busy morning and day. And I'm also having a very strange problem. I can't get onto Sephora. <laughs> Not on any computer in my house not uh, with my phone or anything. I contacted them through Twitter. They DM'd me, they asked me so, for some like information, like my login email address and where I'm logging in from. Am I using VPN? You know, questions like that. And I, I told them, you know, and they're gonna get back to me, but I have to be able to get onto Sephora. <laughs> I'm just, it's not a big deal right now, but I'm like, if this goes on for a while, this is gonna be really awkward <laughs> if I can't get onto Sephora. Uh, anyway, so I thought I would take the rest of my day and go to Target and Home Goods or whatever at home and look for some wreaths, maybe look for some spring spring decor, you know. Um, oh, I have a candle lit. I need to blow this out before I go. So I thought I would take you with me. This will be the Chanel Jumbo's maiden voyage here. Love her, love her so much. I'm so glad to have this size bag back because the Chanel bag that was stolen from me, <laughs> the denim one, um, I mean, completely different material, obviously, but it was the same size. And I love, love, love this jumbo size. So anyway, if you guys did not catch that unboxing, I talk a little bit more about it and show you it a little bit more up close in that video, if you wanna check it out. Um, all right. Let's head on out. Also, this is the maiden voyage for uh, one of the Chanel sandals I got from the Cruise Collection. This is like the suede, kind of Birkenstock inspired sandal. It's very understated. There's just CCs there and there's three Velcro straps. Really comfortable, but I definitely have to break them in. The sole is a little stiff, uh, but they're comfortable in terms of like my instep and my toes and my feet and everything. Like the width is great because I kind of have wide feet. Can't wait to get these out. So excited. So many maiden voyages today. It is so sunny out that I have my sunglasses on and it looks like I don't have sunglasses on. That's how bright it is outside. And it is 78 degrees. So we're getting close to 80 degrees here. It is quite warm. The warm days of Vegas are here and I couldn't be more sad. <laughs> I was actually just Marco Poloing with Samantha, Samantha March, and she was like, woohoo, like pool weather's here. And I'm like, I'm so miserable. I'm trying to think of where I want to go first. I think I'll stop by at home first. If I don't see anything there, then I'll go to Target. And my last stop is Home Goods. I'm not the biggest fan of Home Goods. I feel like that's an unpopular opinion. I kind of feel like I'm sifting through like a flea market. Like it just feels like, you know, they have sections, they have uh, departments or whatever, but it feels like things are like literally thrown onto the shelf and I'm like trying to separate things and it I, it doesn't make for a fun shopping experience. So anyway, I think I'll leave home goods to last. So if I don't have to go, I won't. Ah, oh, the Easter stuff is out. I'm sure I want carrots on the front door. <laughs> oh my god, it's like a bunny. <laughs> oh, here's some. Some dryworks. I think these are big enough. Of course, the one that caught my eye kind of looks like the one I already have. <laughs> I 
is too pink. This is a good size. I think it's too pink. That's too pink. These are too small. Uh, 22 inch. Right now I have a 28 inch, and 28 is a really nice fit for my door. Okay. There's some more. Um, I don't know. I don't feel like I can describe what I want. I just will know when I see it, you know? It's one of those situations. But none of these are really that appealing to me. Well, that was a bit of a bust. They had a lot of wreaths there, but um, none of them I really liked. Um, and, you know, I do not mind a faux floral, but, you know, up close, I understand. They're all going to look pretty faux, but... <laughs> Uh, I don't like the ones that look faux from uh, far away, too. <laughs> That's a problem. Anyway, so we're on our way. West Horizon Ridge Parkway for one mile. So we're on our way to Target, and I'm hoping they'll have. Um, actually, what I'm really hoping is that they'll have some wreaths that are big enough. So, like I said, I'm looking for like a 28 inch wreath around there. 28, 26, 30, something around 28 inches because that works really well on my door currently. So we'll see. Hopefully they'll have something. I'm in the Casa Luna section. This is that quilt that I got many, many moons ago and I just love it. So every time I come to Target, I see what they have and I really like this kind of sagey green color. They have these shams, which I think would look really nice with that color. So maybe I'll get this, just to spruce up the bed a little bit. And they have silk pillowcases, which I do really love, but they're standard. And the pillowcases I actually, the pillows I actually sleep on are king size. So that's not gonna work. Hmm. They have knit blankets that would last about two seconds with butters. Oh, little, ah. They have linen pillowcase sets in King. So they have my quilt, but in this black color, which is actually pretty cool looking. They only have full and queen. Hmm. Wait, I'm realizing this is only one. I would need a pair, and that is the only one left. Okay. <laughs> well, there's this one. The selection here is even wimpier. I think I picked the wrong target. There's definitely one by my house that has a beefier like Magnolia, Hearth and Home, that brand, Threshold, that brand, um, more of that stuff. This is a very small section, unfortunately, but I did find some bedding. <laughs> Look how pretty this little cotton quilt is, and then I thought I'd get these pillows. So I've been looking for a table to put next to my bathtub, you know, to like put our bath oils and uh, bubble bath, all that kind of stuff. But, as much as I love this sort of um, polished brass, our bathroom actually is chrome, unlike the rest of our house. So I don't think this would work. Okay, I'm back home. <laughs> sort of a bust on the whole wreath front, but I did end up getting that 
uh, quilt and then those two pillow <laughs> those two pillows that are laying down um, I just thought this was so pretty for spring so I thought that would be like a nice spring up for the bedroom I do want to get pillows maybe like little accent pillows in this like lighter sage green I think that would be really pretty but the like sage green accent pillow section in Target was nil. They didn't have any, they had like mint green and then they had green, <laughs> but they didn't have anything that sage color. And then, yeah. And then I decided not to go to Home Goods because I don't, I don't really like Home Goods. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna make the bed today. I'm feeling lazy, but what I do wanna do is go online and just order a wreath, so. Let's hop on, let's just hop onto my iPad since that's right here. Oh, that's lovely. My internet is down. There's an outage until 8 p.m. in my neighborhood or in my area. That's nice. Well, thankfully, um, thankfully my iPad has um, cell service. <sighs> what a day. <laughs> what a day. Ooh, this looks pretty. All right, so. get you out of the glare how's that so this I thought was really pretty this is the pink larkspur wreath it's at Williams Sonoma and I just clicked on see full details and it's thinking I guess my cell service here is not it's not great it is 20 inches okay that is far too small okay I'm on the balsam hill site this is where I got my Christmas wreath so I know they have 28 inch ones and they list them with the size very very handy so this one actually looks very much like my christmas one whoops i guess i click there um i don't like that oh bunnies i am a fan of boxwood but i feel like this looks a little too i don't know plain um lavender oh, these are really bright <laughs> Very bright. And then a white Rhapsody wreath. That's really pretty. That's like more my speed. That I don't mind, even though it's really bright. <laughs> but it's pretty. Oh, what about this one? Outdoor Ivory Hydrangea Berry Wreath. Oh, I like this one and it's 28 inches. Okay, that one I like the most so far. This looks too much like my Christmas wreath. So I think I'm gonna get this one, this hydrangea berry foliage. I think that's really pretty. I really like the white with the uh, green as like a backdrop. So 28 inches and hopefully it'll come within the next week. I'll have a new wreath up on my door. All right, well that wreath is ordered. Um, the next thing I wanna do is just go through my perfume collection, not like I'm decluttering or anything, but I just wanna kind of like revisit all of my lighter spring, summertime kind of fragrances. And I thought we, we could do that together. Um, I just feel like some, you know, I forget that I have things sometimes. I've been like purchasing a lot of perfumes recently. And so when I do that, which happens because I've become obsessive, when I do that, that's when I kind of forget like what I get because I buy so many so quickly. So anyway, let's go on upstairs to my perfume collection and yeah, just kind of go through it. I can show you some of my longtime favorites, some of my new favorites. Okay, wow, this is kind of a mess. These, these are my solid ones from Diptyque, which I love. Okay, all right, so all my fragrances I have uh, the more gourmand type ones on the left <laughs> and the lighter, more floral, citrusy, lighter fragrances on the right. Um, yes, okay, so all of my Maison Francis Kirkjian fragrances, these kind of come out in full force, oops, in the uh, spring, summertime because they are just sort of very light and fresh no matter like what notes I feel like he uses, they just end up being really, really fresh and I love that. So I've got the uh, Feminine Pluriel, the Amorous 
the Rose one Aqua Universalis, which is my favorite. I think this is my second bottle of this. And then I have the Aqua Celestia in the Cologne Forte. Love those. I've got my Parfums de Marly. This is uh, Delina. And then this one is, I already forget, Casilli. Cass so I've got those two, which I know I'll be reaching for more. Of course, I'll be reaching more for my Jo Malone, like my Jo Malone grapefruit, which has been a long time favorite. And I should probably keep these all together. Like, so English Paraphrasia is actually more of a winter scent for me, but it's still fruity. It doesn't belong on that side, but we'll leave it over here. I've got English Oak and Red Currant. That's also kind of like a wintry one. Fig and Lotus Flower is kind of summery. Oh, I have two English Paraphrasia as well. Um, poppy and Barley. That's kind of spring summery. And then Orange Blossom, I actually don't really like. Maybe I should declutter this one. Maybe my mom will like it. No, I'll put that one aside. So all my Jo Malone's, and then, ooh, all my Creed. So one of my all-time favorites is the Aventus for Her. Um, so this I'll be wearing a lot more. This is probably my strongest fragrance. I just need one spritz and it lasts days, days. Um, this Melissime, Melissime <laughs> Imperial. This is, um, it's light, it's a little powdery. Um, so this is good for spring, summer. Silver Mountain Water is another fresh one, really beautiful. This one I actually wore the other day, the Aqua Florentina. And this is not nearly as strong or long standing as like this one or these two even. This one is definitely lighter. It definitely faded by the end of the day, which is fine. Um, but it did last all day, so that was nice. My bond number nine, Tribeca. This is this is kind of an interesting fragrance because I feel like it is very gourmand. It's kind of like a sweet, uh, but not floral, not citrusy. But for some reason, I keep it over here, probably because the bottle's white. But I keep it over here, and um, I do tend to use it maybe like like late summer, fall. It's a little um, heavy isn't quite the right word, but it's a little bit heavier than like all of these that I'm going through. Um, but I'll leave that over there. And then all of these Atelier Colognes, these are all really nice and bright. Uh, Clementine California is really um, light and bright. Uh, vanilla, this actually together is great. It's like, it ends up being like a, an arsicle. Uh, where's the Pacific Lime? There's Pomelo. Oh, here's Pacific Lime. This is such a good one. Super fresh if you like um, citrusy scents. I do have more Jo Malone over here. This one threw me because the packaging is different. This is the Elderflower, so it's very floral. This is Scarlet Poppy. This came out like last year around Lunar New Year, I think. So this is floral, but it's not... Um, like light and sweet. There's like a little bit of a seriousness to it. And this uh, Nashi Blossom is really nice and light and bright. I like that. Um, let's see, oh, this Gucci. I forgot about this guy, Gucci Flora. This is a really good one too. Nice and floral, like really bright. I remember liking this for either day or night, like it didn't matter. A lot of these I feel like are very good for day, but this one kind of transcended both. Byredo, I have Pulp, which is just super fruity. I love it, love, love, love it for summer, especially if you're going to like an outdoor party or brunch or something like that. This is really perfect. And then a friend of mine just gave me this Rose of No Man's Land. And this is just, it's just a really beautiful like rose scent. Um, so that is great. Oh, we've got all these Jo Malone's from my advent calendar. I won't go through each one. Um, I just used the Chanel Deauville with you guys. Miss Dior is always like just a really pretty feminine fragrance. And I learned at the Dior exhibit at the Brooklyn Museum when I was in New York, I learned that he, uh, Christian Dior created this for his sister. So that's lovely. And this is like a quintessential spring summer fragrance. This entire line, the Aqua Allegoria from Guerlain, just 
really light, really bright, really fruity, really fresh, a little bit sweet. Um, they don't last a long time. They're almost just like a wash of a fragrance, um, but I love the scent of Herba Fresca. And then this Goutal fragrance, this is La Violette, and I searched high and low for this because this smells like the um, Guerlain Meteorites, that violet scent, and I love it so much, and I think this is discontinued. It's really, really hard to find just like a pure violet scent, and that is one. Here is another light Chanel. This is the uh, Riviera, which I really love, but I do love the Deauville more than the Riviera. And, oh, this is such a good Chanel one. This Cristal Auvergne. This is so good. This is like one that I forgot, kind of. <laughs> so, so good. Uh, Chantecaille Darby Rose this is one of my favorite um, rose scents. It's very light. It's a fresh kind of rose. It's not too floral. And then this Christian Louboutin is great for spring, summer. It's kind of like the Gucci Flora, this guy, where I feel like it's day or evening, but I love that it has like a strawberry uh, note to it. This is the one with the cat on top. I can't remember the exact name. This is Doo. This is Luby Doo. So this I'm definitely gonna be whipping out in the spring, summertime. And I've got some um, Dior fragrances here. What else? Oh, this is such a good one for, I feel like this is a great like vacation fragrance. When you go, like a beach kind of vacation, when you go and you like have drinks on the beach, not that I drink anymore, but you have a drink on the beach and then you head to dinner. There's something about this fragrance that I feel like is sunset, but in the summertime, yeah, it's just really lovely. Uh, Chanel Chance. This is just an all around good one. I think this is their most popular fragrance. The Armani My Way, I really like. This is just a really juicy fragrance. I really like it. Um, the Tom Ford Soleil Neige. This is one of the Soleil fragrances that I actually like. I'm not the biggest fan of his other ones, but I do like this one. And it grew on me. It's not something I liked in the beginning, right off the bat. Oh, the Orbe Cote d'Azur. I mean, who doesn't love the Orbe scent? It's just oh, so good. So, so good. This is just like a warm, sexy summer night. And then I've got the Chloe here, which is another just pretty um, feminine kind of floral fragrance. Love this. This is a really great just kind of, it's like Chance. It's like the Armani My Way. I feel like you could just throw it on and it's unoffensive. It's very pretty. You know, people are going to love it. Um, the Tom Ford Rose Prick. This is, um, this is okay. I, it's so funny. I have such a strange, like, love-hate relationship with Tom Ford fragrances. Like, that is a very rose scent, but for some reason, it's kind of, um, it, like, changes on my skin, and I think maybe that's, I don't know, my issue with Tom Ford fragrances is that they kind of turn into something different, and I don't always enjoy that. Um, I can't remember about the rose prick. I think it just, I don't know, almost like the rose kind of fades away and it turns into more of like an amber kind of scent. I don't know, there's something about it where I like it, but I don't love it. Like I have a lot of other rose fragrances that I enjoy more, like um, this rose gypsy from Christian Dior, um, the Darby rose from Chantecaille. Um, yeah, and uh, you know, the rose from Kirkjen, of course love that but this is good do you guys do this i know people probably do this with their clothing a lot you know they go through <laughs> what they have and see if they need to like fill in any gaps every time the season changes but i do this i have to do this with like my makeup a little bit i have to do this with my fragrances i just feel like i have to kind of keep revisiting things because i fall into patterns and habits and i kept reaching for a lot of the fragrances, like I said, that are over here, that are a little bit deeper, this other side of my sink. And once I, did, I don't know, maybe because I'm like, I'm so single-minded and it's like, once I did that, it's like, I just forgot about all of these fragrances. So I just kind of have to sit and like, kind of like, okay, like reacquaint myself with my own collection. I have to do that with makeup too. Like, that's why I love, um, 
uh, like doing declutters or just collection videos or whatever because it just helps me like get reacquainted with my own things. Well, I thought I could sit out here <laughs> because it is a warm day, but it's, it's really quite But soon, soon I'll be able to sit out here and enjoy a nice cup of coffee, a seltzer, a tea. Look at the sky, it's so pretty today. It's like every time I start talking, the wind picks up. Um, I'm gonna continue this spring glow up in my next vlog because I do wanna go through clothes, um, get rid of some stuff. Uh, I do want to go through, and this is going to be a fairly large task, but I want to go through like all the skincare that I have. I just have a ton and there's absolutely no way that I can get through all of it. And I want to donate it to Project 150, which is a charity we talked about. in my next video.